Good morning guys, we are three days out. It is 4am at the moment. We are currently in Edinburgh. We are staying at my lovely client Sarah's house. She stays like 10 minutes from the airport so it worked out perfect. We had a cream and ice party last night. <laughs> she made Luke the most incredible core cake I've ever seen. I'm very, very OCD with my food at this point, so I've not actually tried a cream and ice cake yet because I'm just scared that I don't end up liking it. <laughs> so I just had my normal cream and ice, but I do definitely need to try that in improvement season. Um, but Sarah bakes, so if you if you guys are interested in like post show treats, she makes the most incredible cookie slabs you'll ever see in your life. Her Instagram name is Thick and Fat. Um, she made me a lotus, a lotus um, cookie slab, so I'm going to be having that post show on Sunday with everyone. Um, but yeah, we've checked Sarah, and she's going to be competing the end of this year so I just wanted to look her over before we before we went to the airport so yeah the taxi is coming to pick us up in five minutes so it's just a short update from me right now and I'll catch you guys when we're at the airport. Yes, 
sorry, Tuesday. My days are all gone. I had the highest carb carbohydrate day on when on Tuesday. Then we backed off yesterday. Same food today. So food's still like 200 grams of carbohydrates. And then we're just taking it day by day at the moment, and we will see what we what we look like. Um, but yeah, chicken and rice coming up for this. Week. Hello, how are you? Hello. All right. Good, how are you? Perfect. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. They're going to train there tomorrow. How you doing, man? You good? You feel good today? Lunch, please. So today, yesterday was Dana's registration, today is mine, they're doing it in sections again which makes it a lot easier because we don't need to sit through and watch everybody going up and getting their, the getting their, that's what it's a medal. Um, I, I noticed some, I was watching an Instagram story and someone called it a pin, I just call it a badge. We're the way to go collect our badge, we're the way to go get our number for, for Sunday get an idea as to what time my makeup's going to be, what time my tan is for, for Sunday as well. I love registration. Um, and we've actually done our hair. This is the first time I've ever blow dried my hair myself since getting extensions. <laughs> I was going to get a blow dry, but um, I think I've done okay. I think I've done okay. It just means that my it's maybe a little bit bushy right now, but it'll be perfect on Sunday. <laughs> we have an hour. You've got rice, peanut butter, right, and chicken. Show the bowl, show because the bowl. I've not got mince, and I'm too paranoid to get mince abroad because I can't read the labels properly. So I would rather just keep it to everything that I know. And this is delightful. This is delicious. Um, don't knock it until you try it. But I would put peanut peanut butter and everything if I could. <laughs> That's what it's missing. Ketchup. <laughs> Hello, Ellen Thompson, figure. We are done, guys. Registration done. Another amazing experience because every single registration for pro shows is completely different. So we all get taken up individually and given our numbers. So I am number. 100 on Sunday. Nice in. I won't forget that one, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, that is us wrapped up. We're going to go back, chill, eat, and then we've got a massage at 4 o'clock. Nice. Wait. 
take a picture as well. Yeah. One day out, guys. It is dinner show day today. It is currently 7 a.m. I have been up since. I got up at three o'clock this morning and I was like, I can't, I can't get up right now. Um, I drank eight litres of water yesterday, so as you could imagine, I was up like every hour to go to the toilet. I actually feel really rested though, which is, which is good, but yeah, I got up at quarter past four this morning, had a coffee, but in Portugal, the sun doesn't like to rise early like in the UK. It, it's not even risen now, I don't think. Um, is, it, is the sun risen, do you think? No, probably not. It's very cloudy. So, we've done check-in this morning, but because it's so, like, dark, it's like, so, this is one thing, the one thing that I hate with travel is, like, trying to find the the right lighting because it's so different in every location. So we tried upstairs in the balcony, we tried at the door, and then we did the, the check-in there, which is fine him. My weight is down again in comparison to, to yesterday. So I dropped two kilos from traveling over here um, and my weight stayed at 55 kilos. So um, I'm not sure what the plan of action is going to be. Um, but I'm just, I've sent my check into Cuba and I'll keep you guys up to date with that. Um, but yeah, we are feeling good. Today is going to be a chill day because dinner's not going to be on until like six o'clock at night. So this day is going to be like the opposite in comparison to what Empro was because it was like busy in the morning and then I had time to chill at night before show day. But this time it's going to be like busy at night. Um, and we check out with our apartment tomorrow as well. So I'm like, I need to get everything organized for food and stuff for, for show day, get my show day bag packed and everything. So I can at least just like, as soon as dinner's done, go to bed. Um, but yeah, it is an exciting day. I think Dana is up now as well. So we will get her checked in and see what she's looking like. Liters, which four and a half liters is still gonna keep you very, very hydrated. Yeah. What it's going to do is just keep the volume of the of the water down, so your, your midsection is going to stay a lot tighter in comparison yeah. to what it would be. In comparison to what it would be when you drink eight liters, that's all it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. No, that is that is fine. So what? So you're wanting me to pose after meal meal two today, then again after after meal four, and then for tomorrow as well, because I'm going to get everything organized today so I'm not having to do it tomorrow are we just kind of mimicking like same food sources as like today basically um I've got squares yeah. bars and everything ready for tomorrow so just kind of same food sources is today yeah I'll, I'll send you a provision of power over to now okay well. perfect no that is that is fine Okay, so we've got our check-in back from Cuba this morning and he's added in a lot more food. I've flattened off quite a lot from yesterday. So we kind of like backloaded carbohydrates mode at the start of the week. So we added in more carbohydrates at the, at the start of the week and then kind of tapered off yesterday and the day before. But we've just like flattened off a little bit today. So food is higher today so meal one is just going in just now which is eggs 100 grams a raw weight rice um 50 grams of strawberries and 50 grams of mushrooms and then i'm just going to take you guys through all of the food that we're having having today and then dana as well so dana is just a wait half our meal one dana is competing at six o'clock tonight so we are back loading her with carbohydrates as opposed to adding more carbohydrates in at the start because i coached dana for this is four years, three, coming up, four. coming up four years now. I know how our body responds and if we implemented carbohydrates in from meal one today, she's just going to blow up, um, unfortunately. So we'll um, go protein fats until around like midday today and then we'll add in carbohydrates because we don't want our, want our flatten off either. Um, 
Yeah, we need to make sure that she does stay full and she's woke up really, really good today and she's just going to get better. Look at this. So, we went and got coffee and then I was like, I need to get dinner or something for, for after their show. And then we went in and there was like an array of foods. And look at these, so we've got natas. So these are the Portuguese pastries with custard in the middle. <laughs> Pardon? My mouth's watering. I know. And then got dinner, some cheesecake. Meringue is my favorite. And then, so I think that one's just like a normal New York cheesecake with strawberry jam on the top. And then that one's like a, a chocolate one. And then that's like a chocolate filled sugar donut thing. Yes, yeah, like a mini donut. Croissants. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorted. So excited. What the fuck's going on? It's a real, it's a real spoon, don't you? We are going to the casino to get my tan, which starts at half one. So I'm gonna go there nice and early, get my bearings. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm really hot though. Really, really, really hot. Happy show day! It is Sunday the 9th, 9th of July and it is show day. Dana freaking smashed it yesterday so Dana competed in figure and physique. Honestly like I have never in my life seen girls get worked like that ever. Dana was on stage for figure for honestly like doing quarter turns for probably half an hour. It was like quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, face the front, face the back, face the front, face the back, quarter turn. So she was first, first call outs. They probably spent maybe like 15 minutes them doing quarter turns there. She then got put off to the side. They took on second call outs. They then took first call outs back on and rinsed them again for another 15 minutes. It was very, very intense. I'm, the UK, I've never seen that in the UK. I've never seen that at a pro show. Obviously the Olympia is different, but even then it was probably on par with the amount of time the Olympian, the Olympian stay on stage. It was, it was crazy. And I really, really do think that the reason why is because there was deciding who was going to get that third pro, pro card because 
they were giving out three pro cards. I do think it was obvious who was first. The girl was um, really, really conditioned. She was symmetrical. She held her poses really, really well. Um, and then the girl that came second, again, I think she belonged in second. We had Dana in third, like Dana, Dana honestly got on stage and I had goosebumps because of how amazing her presentation was. I was like, holy shit. Like, and then all the girls were coming out, I was like, she's she's up there. She's up there. So she nailed the, the first call out. It was perfect. Um, and yeah, I had her in third. She was in the center, she was center stage the whole time. She'd like, there was kind of like moving girls around behind, like beside her. And then basically what happened was when she got pulled back up again for, for first call outs, they pulled someone in from second call outs, moved Dana and her about, and then that girl, that girl got her pro card instead but it's just one of those things Dana's never done it before it was the best time best best presentation and best like performance up on that stage we know what we need to to do moving forward we know that we need to hold poses during pose and practice for like five minutes like it was just like they are looking for the the girls that can hold because obviously like they want to see that if if they could go into like a pro show and hold that conditioning because you do hold it for longer in a pro show. So I do think that that was the the reason the reason there. Like we'll we'll add some comparisons in uh, this part of the video, but as you can see from the lineup, Dana wins back shot, side shot. Dana wins. Front shot, she is fourth. And front shot needs to be one of the one of the strongest shots. But we did physique as well. She didn't get to do her routine, which I'm gutted about because I wanted to wanted to see that. But we wanted to test the waters. We wanted to see because Dana's heavily muscled. She's got a lot of muscle on her frame, and we wanted to see where she sat best in. But like doing the comparison and actually seeing her go from figure right into physique, she, she's, she's a figure girl, 100% through and through. She's got the shape, she's got the structure, but there's just areas that we need to build. And don't get me wrong, like, I think over time she could be physique, but like figures, figures her class for now. So it'll be back to the drawing board. She's going to be going into like a, a maintenance health phase and then we're get, going to be getting like a POA in place for the for the end of the year because she's not mentally done. I know in my heart that she can get a pro card. It's just, it's not if but when is the big, biggest factor. Um, so yeah, that is that. Is that. Um, it was a very, very late day so we are now in a, into my show day, so hopefully you guys enjoy this part. Yeah, James, if you've got sparkly heels, it's not going to mark you up or mark you down. I have got sparkly heels, but um, Jasmine gave me the Majesty ones rather than the, the cocktail ones, and they're a lot narrower. And then my other sparkly heels are ancient, so... I'm not wearing them either, so that's why you're not going to get marked down for not having shiny heels. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. So we've not got any protein on this meal, guys. This is just carbohydrates and fats. Why? Because protein does digest, take longer to digest than what carbohydrates and fats does. And on show day, we don't need protein. Like, the work's done. We need foods that are easy digesting, so we've got carbohydrates. Pineapple helps with digestion. And then we have got some fast acting carbohydrates, and this is the best part, guys. Boom. It's going to be tight. 
It's very exciting. Sorry. off stage guys it went exactly how I thought it was going to go my body is just so tired like I've tried to relax I've tried to chill but like my knees my joints it's just been it's, it's been a hard couple of weeks and I just felt like I couldn't get my quads to pop and then this week couldn't fill up either like just wasn't full enough up there um, and that's the, that's the game that we're in. Like, not every show is going to go as planned. It's about learning and getting experience and getting in front of more judges. And this season, I got what I wanted at them pro and that was a top 10. But I just need a minute. Like, I'll give you guys a proper recap once I actually see my stage shots because I've not seen anything yet. Like, I don't know how I was actually looking like in my head like I knew it wasn't my best before when I woke up this morning um it was the lightest I've ever been but it just wasn't the the fullest, fullest. <laughs> Dinner. It's been so much fun. I feel fine. I feel 
feel fine. I had sushi, I had do a donut, delicious. Oh, and a pavlova. Muy bueno. No, what's the what's the Portuguese for good? I don't know. Bueno. Buenos dias. <laughs> I don't mean hello. Yeah. Hello. Good, good morning, I'm pretty sure. Oh, like, buenos yeah. dias. <laughs> Good morning, Lisbon. Uh, no, it was really good. Really, really good fun. No, I'm good, man. <laughs> Person. So I thought it would be a good idea for for us to get matching matching bracelets for every every city that we go to because on the cruise we're going to go to like four, 12, different 12, twelve different places. So by the by the end we'll have all these different different bracelets. Memories. So guys, we are at the Radisson Blue. We are next to the airport. We have got an early flight tomorrow. So our flight is at 6 a.m. and then we've got a stopover in Spain and then we arrive in Edinburgh at one o'clock. So we are away to head to bed. We're going to get a really, really good night's sleep tonight because we had so much fun. Like when I'm post show, I don't binge, like that's the thing, okay I ate food today but it's because I wanted to eat it. I like to have one day where I just eat the foods that I want to have and then I go back on plan. So we had some lovely food, like I didn't pa eat past the point of fullness. I am just someone that can eat a lot of food. Like. I've had a lot of food and I feel, I honestly feel fine. I feel completely fine. Um, it's not like I eat to the point where I've got like heartburn or like indigestion or anything. I feel, I feel good. So I feel very satisfied to be honest because I ate all the foods that I wanted to eat. Amazing sushi and just an amazing, amazing company. It was just a, another weekend filled with, with amazing memories to have my husband by my by my side, to have my amazing videographer with me by my side as well, and then Dana and Gav. Um, I am going to do a separate video, giving you guys a run through as to what happened on the on the Saturday, and also a full run through of the the show day that I had as well because it. It obviously didn't go the same as Empro and there's a lot to talk about that it'll, it'll, t it'll probably take me about 10 minutes to actually speak through everything. So we'll leave that for another video. But yeah, that is us wrapped up. Got a good old Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max! Pe Pepsi Max in the hand. And yeah, thank you so, so, so much as always guys for the support. Your messages, your comments, your likes, your shares, your support never goes unnoticed. I have just been pretty shit with Instagram the past couple of weeks. I've been very, very focused and I just want you guys want you guys know that I'm just so appreciated. So thank you so so much and I will see you all soon.